Hey there engineering fans! Today we're looking at hydraulic and mechanical pullers. These handy and powerful tools are used for jobs in many different industries. They make it easy to remove shaft mounted parts like gears, bearings, wheels and pulleys. But choosing the right puller can make or break your job. For example, do you know when to use hydraulic versus mechanical pullers? Let's break it down. Mechanical pullers are operated manually. They're simple, cost-effective, and lightweight, ideal for smaller jobs. Hydraulic pullers, on the other hand, include a cylinder that's activated by a hydraulic pump to apply powerful force. They require minimal physical effort, which makes them ideal for more heavy-duty tasks. Next, consider the number of jaws. Two-jaw pullers are great for fitting into tight spaces, but offer less stability. Three-jaw pullers distribute force more evenly, reducing slippage and improving safety. Next, ensure your puller has the right capacity for the job. Too little force means ineffective pulling, and too much could damage components. Reach and spread are also key to make sure the puller's dimensions match your workpiece. When choosing a hydraulic puller, safety is key. Look for features like synchronous jaws for alignment, locking mechanisms that capture the component, and durable construction for long-term reliability. So far, we've just talked about external pullers. But there are other types out there for more specific jobs, like bearing pullers, internal pullers, rail stressors, and pullers for removing pins from heavy machinery. Finally, if you opt for a hydraulic puller, think about the pump. Manual pumps are portable and simple, while electric, battery-powered, and pneumatic pumps require less effort and provide consistent operation for heavy-duty tasks. Remember, investing in the right puller not only makes tasks easier, but also safer and more efficient. That's all for now. Thanks for watching.